Yes, welcome to Taxonomy Online Mathematics, continuation of our tutorial on integration. And in this episode, we'll be treating definite integration. The previous one we deal with uh, indefinite, where we have an arbitrary constant C being added to our terms of integration. Now, so we know that if I have integral of a function of f of x, dx, this becomes indefinite because definitely there will be a constant of c added to this. Now, the case whereby a limit to the integration is given as an in integral from a to v of f of x, dx. This is telling us that the integration of the function of this from a to b where a is for our lower limit then b is going to be our upper limit so in case of this if i differentiate it i integrate this i'm going to have so it means this is the same as what the integration of the value of function of f of x then this can be further expanded to be the f of b minus the f of a meaning whatever function that is left after the integration the x value will be replaced with what b minus the x value replaced with what a in order to find the value the actual value of that uh, function given to us. In this case, we are not adding the constant term here. We know this is going to be. We are not adding the constant term because seeing there is a subtraction involved, this will be plus c, then b will come, so plus c will be here, then the second one plus c will be here. You can see minus will make the c cancel out. So no need even introducing the value of what? C. So for, for example, let's see. If we are asked to evaluate let's imagine we are asked to evaluate this from the limit is from 2 to 3. So first thing first, we need to find what? our integral of what we are having here and we know the integration is increase the power plus one that will be three divided by three so i'll be having three x exponent three over three that is increasing this power then this become two x exponent two over two as is increasing this power then we know that if you integrate a constant, you will be down with the x being added onto that constant. So that become 4x. So all this is going to be 3 and 1. You can see the b and the a is on the integral of the function. So what do we do next? Now we are going to perform the subtraction of the integral of b, then integral of what? a. Don't forget this can cancel. So I'll be done with x to the power 3. This will cancel. x to the power 2, 4x. Then we have 3 and 1. 1. So now what do we do? Let's impute the upper limit in place of x. So that become 3 will replace here. So 3 exponent 3 plus 3 exponent 2. 4 times 3 minus. 1 replacing this, 1 exponent 3, which will still be 1, 1 exponent 2, 4 times what? 1. So this is for the upper limit, this is for the lower limit. So what do we do? This right here will be 27 plus 9 plus 12 minus 1 plus 1 plus 4. And that will be what? 6. In adding this, I believe this will give us 39. So 39 plus 9 will be 48. 
So 48 minus what? 6 give us what? 42. Meaning the value of this function, if you are to integrate this function from the limit of 4, 1 to uh, 3, you should be able to get exact value as what? 42. So this gives the difference between definite integral and indefinite integral. The indefinite one, we are not going to be able to tell the exact value. We are only going to add an arbitrary constant to it. Probably this is an example of what? Uh, definite integral. Integrate or find the value of this integral. Let's try and see if we can be able to find the exact value of this integral or this function and share your answer in the comment section based on the tutorial that we have. If the concept is clear, you should be able to find the value of this. I'll be waiting for you in the comment section with your answers. If you are new, consider to subscribe, like, share and comment. See you in the next episode. Bye.